Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Yes, I am going to make a waffle cake for you guys. This is a breakfast delight, perfect for Mother's Day coming right around the corner. It's really easy to put together. The first thing I've got going on here is we're going to talk waffles. Now, what's perfect about this cake is you can use frozen waffles if you want. You can use your own waffle batter if you want, or you can just use the complete waffle mix right here, put that together, and then make your waffles from there. Okay, so let's get started with that. Now in a medium bowl here, I have two cups of this waffle pancake mix, and I'm gonna add one and a half cups of water. And then I'm going to add one third cup of melted butter, or you can use one third cup of oil. All right, I'm just gonna take a whisk and blend this until it's all mixed well. And while that's happening, if you're making your own waffles here, go ahead and get your waffle iron heated up. All right, I'm just gonna take some cooking spray and spray the bottom and the top of my waffle iron here. Make sure the waffles don't stick and I'm just using a ladle here now what's great about this is that you can make these ahead of time like the day before and then just store them and then you can pull them out when you're ready to make the cakes place the lid on it okay if you can see the steam right here we're gonna cook these until that steam has stopped and it should take about three to four minutes and then we're gonna take the waffles out they should be nice and golden brown now, depending on the size of your waffles, if you're using like a Belgian waffle, you may only be able to use one. If you're using frozen waffles, you may be able to use three for each cake. And then like the ones I'm making here, these may make two right here. So depending on the size, so you can make plenty and then base it off of that. So whatever waffle iron you're using, you're just going to cook them per how you usually make your waffles. Now, if you're doing the frozen waffles, just prepare them like you can toast them if you want to do that or put them in the oven to cook those. You don't want to put them in your batter frozen, all right? So I just wanted to make sure y'all understood that. Waffles are done. Let's go ahead now and start making the cake batter. I'm keeping it really simple. I'm going to be using a boxed cake mix. Now, this is the yellow cake variety, and it's a 15.25 ounce size. So I went ahead and put that into a medium or large bowl. To that, I'm going to add, now, on the back of the box, it says one cup of water. I'm going to put three quarters cup of water into my batter here, and then I'm going to add a quarter cup of maple syrup and we can get that delicious maple flavor into our cake here now if you want to substitute half water and half maple syrup then you can do that I've got one third cup of melted butter now this is in place of the oil I am going to make that substitution out of the way then we got three eggs here now I bring the eggs to room temperature So I'm just gonna add the three eggs. If you wanna make your own cake batter, you can certainly do that. Just switch out some of the water for your maple syrup. Okay, using an electric hand mixer, or you can even use a whisk and beat it up really good. I'm just gonna use an electric hand mixer here. We're gonna mix this for two minutes to get everything well combined. Part's done. Now what we're going to do is prepare our pans. You can use two nine inch pans. Now what you want to do is grease and flour your pans or you can use some cooking spray that has flour in it which is um, this right here. So just make sure that you get the sides, edges, and the bottom of your pan here. Okay I'm bringing my waffles back over here. Do you see how easy this is so far? What I'm going to do now is take my cake batter and I'm going to place half of it into each pan. 
as easy as it gets, right? Go ahead and take your spatula and then we're gonna even out the cake batter in the bottom of the pan as evenly as you can get it. I'm just gonna get a knife here and get off that excess. Sometimes I'm top heavy, which means I tend to put more on the side closest to me because I don't see the back end of it. So make sure it's nice and even. <laughs> Take your waffle and place it into the cake batter. I'm just wanting to cover the bottom of the waffle here and then I'm gonna take the waffle, flip it over. There we go. That way the batter right here will stick to the, that's right, second waffle here. And then just press it down till the batter gets all around it. Cause it's gonna cook up over the waffle on the sides here. All right. So take your waffle, place it in. We're just covering the bottom of it very carefully. Turn it over. There we go. Put the second one on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're gonna place them in the oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure you do the toothpick test by inserting the toothpick right into the cake batter on the sides of the pan here. And if it comes out clean and it's nice and golden brown on your cakes, then it's time to pull it out. Then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna finish these off. All right, y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. Everyone, give me a thumbs up if you're still here and ready to see the finished product. Okay, and don't forget, this recipe can be found at www.catherinesplates.com. I'll be back. About halfway through, I put some little squares of foil on top of the waffle part, and that will keep the waffle from over browning while the cakes are cooking. Okay, I just pulled these out of the oven. Look how nice and golden brown these are. Now the waffles are set in there and they look really pretty. We're gonna cool these in the pan for about 15 minutes on a wire rack and then we're going to take the cakes out, put them back on the wire rack and allow them cool completely. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna build these things up into a waffle cake. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and start building our waffle cake. Now I'm just gonna put it on a cake pedestal here. So I'm gonna take my first cake Place it right in the center. All right, we're gonna take some maple syrup. That's gonna be kind of the glaze between the cakes to kind of hold it together. Okay, we're gonna take the second cake and place it right on top of this one. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the syrup into each hole because that's how we like our waffles, right? down the center, and then we've got melted butter. I like butter on my waffles. Okay, y'all, what do y'all think of my waffle cake? We're gonna cut into this. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Take a cake to another whole level with your waffles. It is delicious. With that syrup, oh my gosh. You know, anybody will love to make this for any occasion. That's why I'm calling this a breakfast delight. My husband's calling it anytime delight. <laughs> All right, y'all tell me what you think down below in the comment section, what you would add to yours, what flavors you would do. There's so many different variations you can do with this one here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. And I will see you on the next episode. Mm.